it doesn't need to be all that durable because your your uh, your line's still tied to the eye here. This this straight pin's not holding your holding your fish on in any way. Right. Um, so yeah, once you do that, then you're just gonna then I'm just tying a, a regular mohair leech, and this is just a two ingredient fly I, I put on. A, I like this barred marabou. Um, I don't know, kind of short. Brad thinks my tails are too short. He ties his a little longer. Uh, but I, I do a marabou tail. And then uh, just some brown has kind of been my favorite color for a long time. And uh, this Canadian series brown is kind of like brown just by being a little bit of, of every other color there is. Uh, so then I just make a, make a dubbing loop and put some of this brown mohair in. I can't see that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you guys have had to do the glasses. <laughs> it's just a new thing for me, so I'm kind of embarrassed about it. So I put a little mohair in our loop. Spin that up. You split the thread there, didn't you? Yeah? Uh, yeah, just, just to, to make a loop. Um, yeah, I, I, I do both. I, I use a loop spinner, um, but um, on a smaller fly, I like to just split the thread. Thread It just makes it a little less bulky. And the only thing you really need to do is just make sure this is all going the same direction while you're, while you're wrapping it forward. And you're going to wrap, I don't know if you can see this. Am I out of focus again? No, oh, you're good. You're going to wrap just right over that... Uh, over that straight pin, so past your, past your hook eye and straight over the, sh over the, the pin there. And I, uh, I didn't have quite enough in there. When I, when I'm just a little short, I don't always build another loop. I just kind of put in some a little bulky there and finish that up. <clears throat> 